Okay, so I have time for one more game today. I was looking back at the review from the last game and I totally realized what I what I missed, which is a huge blunder. So I made this move where I put his king into check with my bishop and it was a discovered check and a check with the queen and then a check with the bishop as well. But now I'm realizing I could have just captured his queen for free because if I took his knight here, he basically had to move here because he couldn't capture with his queen because my queen put his uh, put him into check. And then I could have just done that and that probably would have been GG even faster. And then he'd have to do something like this. And then anyways, um, yeah, I would have had a huge advantage there. But um, yeah, I see that now. So that's good. I'm here to learn. Let's play one more game. Looks like I'm playing Jolly Mr. Rabe 12. Let's see how we do. Oops. Um, okay, I think I'll just go for the castle. Sure, he's protecting my knight from jumping here. Uh, I'll just go for the castle. He has a hanging pawn on c5. I'd rather just do this. His pawn's still hanging. I'd rather just set up a good pawn structure here. F file's pretty open at the moment. Um, that's fine. He's still not protecting this pawn here. I think he's gonna have to move this. I'm surprised. Yeah, he should have moved this pawn here. I don't think this move really accomplishes anything for him. Then um, I can attack his queen if I really wanted to. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm in a much better position here. Let's see if he notices this. I guess he could just go here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest, that wasn't really the best move by me. Yeah, I should have noticed this. That was kind of a bad move. I'm gonna move this back. I kind of wasted some time there. Um, that didn't seem like a good move. That just gave me a free attack. Um, he'll take. I'll just recapture with my bishop. Um, hmm. Maybe I should just trade since we're up. I'll just protect. Hmm, this is interesting. Um let's see here. I don't wanna I don't wanna make this move too fast. This seems like the obvious thing to do. Let's see, so wait, don't move the piece. So take he can take here. I can take here. He can take here, but then I can take here. 
So even if I take here, he takes here, I take here, he can take here, I can take here. Um, I still think I'm in a better position here, even with the stacked pawns. Because I can just deliver him check here, and then, yeah. Yeah, it seemed like he was in a much worse spot there. Just get rid of his pawns. Okay. This pawn's causing my knight a lot of trouble. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. He can't really capture here if I go if I go here. Is this weird? Is this weird throwing my rook on the seventh rank? Kind of weird, right? Maybe I just get my queen out. Hmm. A lot of options here. Lots of options. I'd almost be happy if he just, if he took this, if he captured my C3 pawn, because then I can fix my pawn structure. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna go for the bishop trade. I know it looks a little bit weird, but I wanna get my queen a bit more active. Okay. Yeah, so he can just retake there. Uh, that probably wasn't the best move. I didn't really notice um, this move here. That's pretty good by him. Should I just shove it in the corner? Mm. That would expose my king. I think I'll just move it back. I don't want to lose it so early. I know I'm up on pieces, but... All of his pieces are pretty well protected. This is unfortunate right here. Um, maybe I can do this. I don't know if that was the play for him, really. Oh, this pawn is unprotected. Yeah, there's a hanging pawn there. <clears throat> Although really, I think I should be focusing on just getting my queen over here. So, okay, I need to play like way faster. I'm losing a lot of time. Um, I'm playing way too slow. I'm five minutes down. I probably should just trade some pieces with him. That's a nice move.
I I need to talk a little bit less and just play this one out. He's playing pretty well. He's only used up two minutes, so I've used up seven minutes. It's pretty pretty drastic. If I go here, he's just gonna push his F pawn. And I think that's okay. Let's see what happens. My queen is in a really bad spot. She has practically nowhere to move, which is not great at all. This seems okay. I think I need to just focus on trading here at this point. Oh my, I definitely missed that. Uh, this is going to be a pretty big threat here. Uh, gosh. Playing pretty poorly. I'm not sure what I'm doing here at this point. I'm kind of falling apart. I'm going to just start moving pieces and start hoping for the best. I guess these pawns here are starting to cause me trouble. I didn't think it'd be such a big deal, but it looks like this is going to give me a lot of headache. Yeah, I don't have a great plan. This is probably just lost. I'm really low on time. I was not expecting that. That's a really good move by him. That's a really good fork. I'll just protect. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. I only have 20 seconds. He's pretty much up a rook. 
It's looking pretty rough. This is definitely his game. Maybe I should have just taken this. I think that's his play. Moving his dark square bishop to e5. I'm kind of just going for a YOLO play here. Maybe he'll abandon. <laughs> that's been happening a lot in the last two days. Could always happen. Maybe his internet will go out. Probably unlikely, but you never know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. Let's see where I went wrong there. So I had a 700 rating, he had an 800. What was the move that did it for me? This one, huh? Leaving my bishop out in the open. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I should have noticed that, I don't, I, whoa. I should have noticed this. That's definitely my bad for not noticing the knight move there. After that, I didn't really know what to do. My brain kind of started to short circuit. He had a really good move there. That was a really nice fork. I didn't see that one coming. This didn't seem like the play here. Even if he moved his queen here. Huh. Yeah, I don't even know if I had a chance there. I don't think I had a chance there towards the end. I think once I did lost this bishop here, it was kind of over for me. Looks like I was up for a bit in this position. Yeah, I really didn't want to take his d4 pawn because of this. This seems like I would be in a much worse position. That was the main reason why I didn't want to go for the d4 pawn there. I was thinking about it for a decent part of the game. I wasn't sure what to do here. I was really hoping he was going to capture at some point, and then I could just recapture and fix my pawn structure, but that never ended up happening. But oh well. No worries. So I think we're two and one today. Um, pretty cool. So good game, Jolly Mr. Brabai. Didn't quite make it to 700 today. But I'll try again tomorrow, and it's time for me to go touch some grass. See you guys.